Hi everyone, this is Isabel the Shabby Hippie. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, I hope your year is starting out good for all of you and for me it's uh, it's been okay. Nothing majorly bad going on, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It, it's good. I'm grateful uh, to God that, you know, I am here. I'm able to still do my things and uh, yeah. So I am here today to talk about my good friend Kimmy and um, she's Kimmy Murray from Salt Beach Scrappers. Um, well, actually she's Salt Beach, Salt Beach Scrapper here on YouTube and on Instagram, but uh, she also has a Facebook group, and there she uses the S at the end of Scrapper, so it's Scrappers on her Facebook group. Um, she also has an Etsy store, and um, I just want to let you know that she um, she did a um, a monochromatic Christmas YouTube hop back. Oh gosh, several months ago. <laughs> I think it was like sometime in November, I, I believe, and I'm not sure because I am so behind on so many things, um, and this is like way long overdue, so I'm so sorry, Kimmy, um, but it's uh, it's been on my mind every day. I just haven't been able to do it. Um, so she did this uh, YouTube hop, and so I am going to link her channel down and you can go over and watch it if you'd like um, where she had a few uh, friends collaborate with her and they each did some uh, wonderful projects uh, for Christmas so um, it was a Christmas hop I'm not sure if I just said that or not but anyway um, the point is that she was having well the I believe they were all doing a giveaway but she was having <coughs> excuse me um, some giveaways and I won. Um, I won um, this set of uh, set. Oh gosh, I can't talk as usual. This set of papers. Now, this is not complete here. Um, I've used a lot of it, and I'm going to show you what what I used it on. Um, and there's still even more that I didn't use. It's a it's a huge set, and it's gorgeous paper. It's a Christmas set, and um, so. I put this here just to show you some, you know, basically what I have left over of what I printed. Um, but it's a beautiful set. I love it. It's, it was so much fun to work with. So um, I decided to make uh, my very first December daily with it. Um, and so I'm going to show you in a minute um, how that turned out. And I guess I'm just going to use it for <laughs> next December because <laughs> I ended up uh, finishing it up. Um, just like right after Christmas, I think it was like the first week of December of uh, January, but um, so yeah. So anyway, um, she is again Salty Beach Scrapper here on YouTube, and then I'm also going to talk about another winning that I got from her from that same YouTube hop. Um, she creates logos, and I'm going to show you the logo that she created for me. I am in love with it. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to show you that in a few minutes as well. But one thing at a time. Um, also, um, if you are interested in the logo, uh, knowing more about it, I'm going to leave her um, email address below in the description area uh, so that you can um, get in touch with her. Um, she's a sweetheart and she's so easy to work with so um, yes um, stay tuned uh, one thing at a time here I'm going to start with the paper then uh, the uh, December daily that I made and then I'll show you the logo okay so um, the Christmas pack that um, she gifted me is called Kringle Candy uh, it's a printable Christmas collection so it's called Kringle candy and it is so fun to work with so uh, it includes several tags which you'll see um, in my book um, this is just one that was left over because again I just I wasn't having enough time to do so much stuff that I needed to do um, these are some of the cut up well these are the cut aparts that 
um, go with uh, this collection I printed two of them because the first time that I printed it um, I didn't work with it as quickly as I wanted to and then I couldn't remember where I put them <laughs> so yeah that's me um, so now I have these which they are not going to go to waste because I'm sure I'm still going to use them in, in the in the book or I'll make something else with it it doesn't matter but oh gosh they are so pretty I love the colors that she used I love everything about this so these are the cut aparts okay and let me see well I guess I'll just put them underneath and then these <laughs> you might notice that they're folded in the middle because I my intention was to use them in the book and then I didn't because my book was getting too too big for a December daily because I'm just so used to making journals um, but look at these cute little snowmen oh my gosh they are so cute so 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 cute <laughs> so that's one of the papers um, this is another one I printed I think I printed most of them on um, uh, double-sided sorry so that's another one so that's just like some very light blue um, stitching almost okay so there's that one then this this is the one that I wanted to use in the front and I sort of kind of did but then you'll see it in a second here how I how I did it um, so this was um, one of the pages from the kit okay being as usual that you can see everything and I hope you can hear me okay as well um, this is another one aren't these papers gorgeous oh my goodness they are so cute I love them I just love each and every one of them oh this one had this is a very light blue with some white snowflakes oh gosh I don't know if you can see them here because my lighting is bad but um let me see what I printed back here. Oh, okay. On this one, I printed this. And this is all from the same collection. Okay. And we have this cute little snow. Oh, wait a minute. This is two. This one is the same as this. But this one, I printed on cardstock. And this one was paper. So then my intention was because I wanted to cut this out, which I did. And you will see it in the book okay so that's that's why that's there okay and then we have the cute little snowman oh my goodness I love the snowman he's so cute I don't think I pr no I did not I did not print anything in the back and then see this is how it prints out um, on your eight and a half by eleven sheet paper okay and then of course this is what I just showed you so now um, let's get on to the actual book so you guys whoops can see it come on Isabel get organized honey bunches of oat all right so here is my December daily and I'm so excited about it because I've never done one okay so let me see if you guys can see it I'm hoping I'm hoping um, there there are a bunch of cut aparts in the um, collection which you didn't see there again because I used them and so yeah this is that snowman I believe that I just showed you um, so oh and then so I added this tiny little mm, candy cane which I thought was appropriate uh, oh my goodness so yeah I think you can see it but anyway all right, so what I did here was I cut out um, a frame, um, a Polaroid frame, okay? That's what I cut out. And then um, initially, I wanted to make it so that you can stick a picture inside. But then I kept just playing around with it, and I did not do that. So what I did was I stitched around it. I added... Um, these cut aparts the soldier and this is from her cut aparts I added this little <laughs> gingy that um, it's a die cut it's a die that I have um, in my stash and then um, this is from the cut aparts Santa Claus is coming to town 
this is from the cut aparts and then this Santa Claus is the one that we saw here Hang on here the one that I sh I told you that I used in the front this is how I used it I cut him out okay I cooled him out and I stuck him right here okay he does not come out he's he's you can put stuff behind him but he's glued at the bottom okay so then what I did do was I added some of that snow tool that tool from Dollar Tree that looks like snow but if you really wanted to you can still stick something back here if you really wanted to so you can stick in receipt or or you can stick a picture in and then just take it out and show it off um, but yeah so but what I did was I just added this here just for you know um, for interest I guess and then I added a little bit of ruffled ribbon it's like uh, one of those organza ribbons and this little um, snowflake and a little gem and then this here I don't know if you guys can see that yeah yeah I think you can see that um, this is um, I was actually cutting out some I was making rosettes and this is from a die that makes the rosette so gosh I would, let me see if I have one here I think I okay this it makes this oops sorry all right so it makes this rosette here all right and if you can see those that form up there that's what this is you know once you cut it out this is what's left over of course this is a different color because I didn't cut that one from there but um okay so I decided to use it here I'm like oh my gosh it's so pretty I was gonna throw it away I'm like no I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use it so and then I popped up the little da, 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 what is this <laughs> The Nutcracker, yay, I finally got it out. So uh, that's what I did, and then I just, oh gosh, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did show you that. Okay, then you just take this, put it, pull it around, and then this is what we have. Oh gosh, I'm not afraid. Okay, so all of the papers that I used are from her. Um, I may have used something from me. Oh, okay, like this here, this is a vintage, um, to and from a vintage to and from sticker so um, I just put it in there and then I cut out this little banner and then I added this little piece of washi tape uh, what's this oh okay um, and then I sewed around I sewed around I think most of the tags and uh, cut aparts that are inside I think most of them so this is from her cut aparts and then this is from what was this from this was from something else I can't remember um, I think yeah I don't think this was from her I don't know I can't remember I think this is from something else I'm not sure and then I just added that little bit of string there just to make it look like an ornament that's hanging okay so there's that and then here I made a little ruffle um, out of some lace and I added this candy cane which is I'm pretty sure from her cut aparts <sighs> yeah I can't remember now because I know that I was using some other stuff but I'm pretty sure that all I used here was from just her cut aparts unless it was just like I don't know I, I don't know just don't pay attention to me I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> but look at this paper isn't this gorgeous I love this paper oh my gosh this is so pretty so here this is one of her cut aparts and I turned it into a belly band and then I sewed around this tag and I added this um, eyelash trim and then this is from her cut aparts and then so I added it here with some washi tape and turned it into a flip so now you can uh, journal on both sides basically and then I just put it in here all right so <clears throat> excuse me this is, I, again, all of the papers are from her collection here. Okay. And, again, it's the Kringle Candy collection. And then here, I just, this is from her collection. And I just, I don't know, I just thought I should, 
I would glue it there. And um, it is, you know, you can actually stick a picture or something underneath. Um, so you can do that. And then here, this is all from her collection as well. Um, the papers. This is from her collection, and then so what I did was I added a little bit of washi tape on the sides just to kind of uh, dress it up a little bit more, and then I turned it into a tuck, okay? Let me bring it up so that you guys can see it a little bit better, hopefully at least, okay? I'm trying to, there, I think that's the angle, okay? And then um, this Santa Claus is from her collection as well, and so uh, I... I went crazy fussy cutting out everything in the collection. Oh, and so are these. And then I sewed around that one. This is all from her collection. Okay. And there we go. Uh, here I added some washi tape. Um, this is where I used that piece uh, that I showed you before that I cut out of a paper. Um, so, and I turned it into a tuck. This little envelope is from the collection. Okay, and then all I did was I sewed around it, and I added this, which is a stamp that I have. It says Happy Holidays, and I stamped it onto that label die. I added this red snowflake and a little red jemmy there, and then that just uh, tucks in there, and then, oh my gosh, guys, look at this paper. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. I love this paper. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Kimmy. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I thought I had two, two papers there. So, um, so this is what I did with this tag. I just, I left it plain, but I did sew um, around it, which is again, the, the little snow flake, uh, not snowflake, snowmen just like the paper I showed you before. And then this is part of the collection as well. And all I did was added, um, a snowflake with a red um, jemmy so I was gonna glue it on there but then I thought it was too small and I just didn't have the time to like do collage or something so I figured you know what let me just leave it like that I think that's good enough I added this little uh, felt snowflake up there um, and the little jemmy and oh I'm not sure if you can tell but this is um, pink paper with white snowflakes. Yeah, it's hard to tell there. But yeah, that's what that is. Um, and then this is the back of that other gingy paper. Oh my gosh. And then um, let's see here. This is one of her cut aparts that I decided to do a flip with. Um, and so I added some washi tape there and it flips out. Um, this is from her cut aparts as well. And then this here, um, I got it from Rachel at Razzle Crafts when I did my mitten uh, challenge, my stuff, my mitten challenge, and she sent me a little strip of this, and then so I cut it um, to fit here, and that's what that is. I can't remember. I think I, let me see here. No, maybe I didn't. Nope. I thought I had left that open, but I did not. And then there's this plain paper. And Santa Claus again, and then I did here another little um, ruffle and one of her candy canes. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see all the details in the papers, but, oh my gosh, they are so pretty. I love this collection. Thank you. I think I'll be using it a lot probably um, during Christmas again. So this is some washi tape that I have here. And then this is one of her cut, is this one of her cut aparts? I'm pretty sure it is. It could be from another thing that I have, but I think it's her cut aparts. Cause I, my intention was to use only her cut aparts. So if there is something else here, um, as you know, with images, it could be that I just had it laying around and using stuff you know, I, I'm not sure, but I think it's from hers. And then this is one of her little tags and I sewed around it and then just added that little um, gingerbread house that I had cut in red. And then that just tucks in there. And then, oh gosh, this I think this is my favorite, my favorite paper there. It's just so pretty, I 
love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> and then this one says 25 Christmas. So I figured, you know what, let me put it towards the very end. And all I did was I sewed around it and put it there with a paper clip. So I do kind of like to leave it on an angle because, yeah, I'm an angle person. <laughs> and then on this side, I did, um, I sewed around the tag and then just added one of her little cookies, uh, cookie cut aparts there. Oy. So that's that. And then this is the very um, end of the book. So here I added some washi tape. This is one of her cut aparts. And then I sewed around this tag and then just left that plain. So again, um, I wasn't making this to sell or anything. I was just, just playing around with it and figured I would keep it <clears throat> because I had never done one. A December daily so um, Santa Claus is coming to town although now we have to wait another 11 and a half months which I'm sure will be here probably more like in six months because you know time just flies I don't know okay what happened here now it flipped over to the other side hmm 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 let's see here oh I'll fix it later okay no problem so this is my December, my very first December daily made with Kimmy's papers and I love it. And now to uh, talk to you a little bit about the logo. Um, again, I will leave all of Kimmy's um, information below. So if you're interested in knowing more about the logos, um, uh, email her or um, go to her Facebook group and uh, message her. She also gives away a lot of freebies and SVG files. So if you're into that, um, unfortunately, I don't have um, anything to scan and cut with unless sometimes I can do some of her freebies because they're printables and easy to cut around with. But um, others I cannot because I don't have like a Cricut or Cameo or anything like that. Brothers, brother scan and cut or whatever it's called. But guys... I want to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to. I'm, I'm, I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Look at this gorgeous logo that she made for me. Do you see it? Look at it. Um, I love it. So it's simple, It, but it's just so pretty. You know what? Let me put this this way so maybe you can see it better. So let me bring it up a little bit. Um, so... I told her that I wanted yellow roses, yellow and pink roses, basically, um, and that's what she did. So, I mean, I I kept it simple, and she uh, she was very quick with this, um, and I love it. I love what she did. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I was going to create a YouTube banner, which actually I did create a YouTube banner with it, but I didn't like it for my YouTube banner because it just... Uh, the sides are like too empty for me so I'm gonna leave the YouTube banner that I have I might eventually use this in my thumbnail um, and, and then I'm gonna definitely use it as address labels oops which I was practicing here with okay let me turn this around now and so these are my address labels and then also um, I'll probably oops I'll probably use them as um, uh, just labels to, you know, like label when I send out things, not just the address label, but, you know, like when you seal a package or something. Um, so, yeah, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to say except thank you so much, Kimmy. You are amazing. I love your work. I Oh, gosh, and she is an amazing crafter, guys. If you don't know her, yeah, and you know what? Her tutorials are short and easy to follow. Yes, short and easy to follow, but amazing. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So please follow her. Um, she's an amazing crafter. She's an amazing person. I love her dearly. And thank you all for watching. I hope this wasn't too long. Um, what else can I say? God bless you all. I will be back soon. And... That's it. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, gosh. <laughs>